game. I had the NSPCC ring up that night. What's going on? Just before half time, I said to somebody in the crowd, I said, I'll take five nil now. What sort of world are we living in where you're going to say at half time at United Liverpool game, I'll take five nil for defeat, you know what I mean? But I'm going to bring the lads back up. Are they both here now? Yeah, that's great. Put your hands together for Wes Brown, Brian McClark. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open, I'm gonna open it myself on that point. But we've got a roving mic, so if you want a question, that who's going around with the mic, Darren? If someone got the mic? I just want to start positive, right? We start positive, so five, five, five in Liverpool at home. Sounds like Jesus and Mary chasing him around. Five in Liverpool at home. How, how, how did the players lift themselves, Brian? You was there for the 5 1 City. You and Air West for some bad results on the Fergie. Southampton was one game. and How, how do you lift yourself after that? Well, 5 0 won recently. And yeah, I, I mean, I'm talking to, as, as, as players, how do you get your belief back? Well, they lifted themselves really well because they got fucking hammered by City. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. That was worse. That was worse. It was it was it was flattering to Neil City, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, it's just like it's embarrassing, you know, they lay down. You know, at least I mean, I watched the game live uh, on Saturday. It was Watford, and all the guys that were working and uh, guys and girls working for a living all asked them at the end of the game, "Who was the best player today?" And they all said, "On the beak." Why did they say that? Because the only one who looked at me fucking cared. Now it might have been because he was angry or whatever it was, but he was the only one who looked as if he thought, I, I, I care about himself. My own personal pride maybe it was. I'm not going to uh, go into this game here without making a difference to the game. Forget about the goal. He, he put in a couple of hefty challenges, fair challenges. But what I was saying to the, the people watching was, that's what they want to see. They don't want to see Marshall fucking wander the boat. don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. So when you're talking about building a team, I'm not sure you that exactly the same talk about building a team. You want to be able to stand there next to them all and think, well, if it kicks off today, some of those players there. It's a picture up with the Wes Ellen and we get an attack on Ryan Bumble. You want to think, you're going to kick off today. Sometimes it does. Who do you want in your corner? You know. Not Wes Brown. You know. And then on some of these games, you tell Van der Beek, there are not very many of the other ones would you have. Because they're not, they're not, they don't, don't sacrifice. They don't sacrifice. And that's what we've got to look for the next part of it, the, whoever it is this kind of got sacrifice in the game. Just one other comment I'm talking about as well is that people mentioned in, about what's changed. Nothing's really changed. The same people are still in charge for me. And you should be grateful that you did take the game in Spain against a team that had won one out of six. So really, don't be carried away with the fact that was a great result on that from the next level of the Champions League. You shouldn't be celebrating like they were celebrating. You should be embarrassed. So you're sitting there looking at us thinking, we've got away with that one. That's what we need to change, whatever way around it is. Because for me, nothing's really changed. We just don't have some sad Norwegian guy crying on the town. <laughs> well, Wesley, do you add anything to that or give your perspective of having a heavy defeat? But I suppose, I suppose in some ways, Losing under Ferguson, you'd have to perform, you'd have to show a reaction, wouldn't you? This is what Chucky said. It's all about courage, um, not letting yourself down, having some respect for yourself, you know. Um, at the moment, it's the whole team. Um, Donny, the other day, you could see he was trying, but you expect that from every single player, and we've not had that for most of the season. You know, I can remember when. On a Saturday, listen, a few people might have a bad game, but ultimately the rest will get them through. Uh, by playing well, um, and then obviously they do return the favour in another game. But at the 
the moment we, we, we just know for the game, we don't look like we're ready to battle. And that's part and parcel of what Manchester United are. That's tackles, it's running, um, it's helping a friend. Um, it's an opportunity to, to score, get it on target. All these little things all you know, count for the, the, the bigger story. Can either of you say running in French? Because Tony Marshall needs some <laughs> interpretation. <laughs> but right, let's open it to the floor. Who's got the microphones? Have oh, we got the microphone over there? He's here again, the boy with the mic in his hand. Just Darren, open the back, let's see what the questions are. 